Okay, so I'm going to wait until it tells me 100% that it's recording. Okay, so today I'm going to be telling you guys about the hidden desires behind each zodiac sign. And no, this doesn't pertain to you specifically, um, and you don't feel like it's resonating, then probably check your rising and your moon as well as your sun so you can know like the well-roundedness of your reading even though this isn't a reading don't get me wrong so we're going to start off with the first child we're going to go in order and the first child is aries and <clears throat> the hidden desires in aries is to lead others and to live a life of leisure they want to live life to the fullest and they want to be the boss of everything that is why most aries have um a god complex they're one of the zodiac signs with a god god complex um but yeah they give me the energy of numerology number five of freedom and sensor stimulation yeah Aries the Ram. Taurus, they want to be stable. They want to live a life of wealth and security. And they also want to be healthy and loved in life and marriage. They give me energy of the numerology number four of roots and stability and foundations. Um, Gemini's. They want to live a life of variety that underscores their cutting edge personality. So no, they are not two-faced, they're just very well-rounded people. And they explore every part of them in their psyche. And they give me the energy, I'm not gonna lie, they give me the energy of the number, the number seven. I feel like they're very very analytical. I feel like they think a lot. I feel like that is why people think that they're two-faced because they are, they're just different. You know, like an Aquarius is just different. They're just different. Um, a Cancer, they want to feel safe emotionally, spiritually, romantically, and financially. And they're very family oriented and they give me the they give me the vibe of a number um a number two of balance and harmony even though i've met so many cancers who <laughs> they killed the peace but that's the vibe they give me they give me the number two vibe of um yeah of balance and harmony um next we have leo the kings and queens oh my gosh so they want to be my um they want to be respected and praised they want to be momentous <laughs> so they want to be the center of attention they want to be praised for being them kind of like an Aquarius but with more of a God complex probably an inferiority complex shall I say Aries and Leo they give me more inferiority complex Aquarius God complex Capricorn God complex there's there's, there's a bit of a difference um, and Leo's give me the vibration of a number five as well I'm not gonna lie they give me the vibe of freedom and um, exploring everything all at once um, Next we have Virgo and the hidden desires of a Virgo is to be loved and to give love simultaneously and have it all returned. All the love that they put out, they want it returned. And that doesn't sound too hard to obtain and to ask for, to be honest, but it is. We all know how that goes. And Virgos give me, they give me the energy of um, numerology number number six I, I I'm not gonna lie they give me a very um caretaker vibe 
Um, and next we have Libra. And the hidden desires of a Libra are to achieve balance and clarity in life, which just that statement alone gives me number seven vibes in numerology, the analytical reluctant spiritualist. Yeah, they gave me number seven vibes as well. And then next we have Scorpio. And the hidden desires behind a Scorpio is to overcome obstacles and to create permanency within their life. And I see that being very true with the Scorpios I know in my life. And Scorpios give me, they give me a number eight vibe. I'm not going to lie. And it's kind of weird. And I'm pretty sure people who's, who are into um, both astrology and numerology will be like, Scorpio give you a number eight vibe but in my opinion yes Scorpio gives me a number eight vibe the material manifester I feel like they I feel like they're probably the easiest ones to place in that category I feel like they could probably do it the best because they have been through so much Scorpios go through a lot in life because that, that's just that's their life path that gives them the character and builds the character that they're supposed to have um Sagittarius their um, hidden desires is to make a difference in this world. And that gives me energy of an, um, number one, the leader, the innovative leader. And yeah, I can see that. I can see how that goes hand in hand. Um, a Capricorn's hidden desires are to be admired by their family, friends, and basically by the whole world. They want to be admired for being them. Like a Leo and like an Aquarius, basically. Like I said, God complex, inferiority complex, them, them the people. Um, and Capricorn, Capricorns give me the energy of the numerology number three, the communicators. Like, whether they're wrong or not, a Capricorn is going to communicate. <laughs> they're going to communicate what they're thinking and what they want to say and how they're right. They give me a number three vibe. Um, Aquarius, their hidden desires are to be unique and original and be respected for it. So it didn't say they wanted to be praised for or anything. It just said they want to be respected for it. And me as an Aquarius, I agree with this statement and I agree that that is probably our hidden desires. It, it sounds about right. Um, and in my opinion, not just because I'm an Aquarius, but Aquarius give me the, um, energy of numerology number, um nine i feel like they're the most well-rounded on the outside and mentally that's why we're the smartest sign most intelligent anyway i mean um and last but not least definitely not um child number 12 we have pisces and a pisces hidden desires is to live out their dreams and turn their fantasies into reality and I just want to say to those Pisces, you can do it. Y'all have very, very ima um, creative imaginations. And you guys are very emotional. And I feel like where you guys fall short of achieving this hidden desire is you get too sensitive about what other people might, might think about you. you. You let the world contradict what you know about yourself. And you have to, you have to boss up and like not let the world tear you down because the world is meant to tear all of us down well it's not meant but that's how it that's how it happens the world tears us down but we have to be strong enough to overcome the obstacles and our adversities and to live out our dreams so to every single zodiac sign and their hidden desires or whatever you feel like your personal hidden desire is just know you can achieve that just don't let the world get in the way of you accomplishing everything you want to be and everything you want to do. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger and nothing should kill you. And if it does, there should be a lot of repercussions because that is not in the book of life. Um, but yeah. Oh, and Pisces, they give me the astral, I mean, not astrological. They give me the numer numerological num numerical number of, um, Pisces, they give me, 
They give me a six. They give me six as well. They're very much caretakers. Um, they they're the type that are trying to make someone else happy before their own happiness. So I give them six. Um, yeah. And I like that about Pisces. Um, but yeah. So that was for today. Give me some ideas of some more Zodiac stuff to talk about. Um, give me categories to do and I got y'all. I'll make some videos about it. Or if you have any numerology ones, I got you for that too. But I am going to put that this one is um, for astrology because it, it basically is. But talk to you guys next time.